Hi friends, welcome to Motion Design Maker. Today we are going to see about position and skew text animations in After Effects. Go to File, Import, File, select the image and click Import. Drag and drop the BG layer to the Timeline panel and lock the layer. Now go to Layer, New, Select Text. Type the text whatever you want. Let's change the anchor point to the center of the text. Select Pan Behind tool and change the anchor point to center. Let's align the text to the center of the composition. Now let's select the position text and change its color to yellow. Now select the remaining text and change its color to orange. Let's animate the text now. Go to the text layer and click the play button next to the animate. Now select the position. Change the position x value until the text moves outside. I am going to put 1900 for this. Click the stopwatch icon next to offset to create a keyframe. Now move to the 21st frame and change the offset value to 100. Hit the spacebar to preview the animation. Now go to the advanced option, change the shape value from square to ramp up. Again preview and check the animation. Now change the offset value to minus 100 in the beginning. Hit the spacebar to preview the animation. Change each low value to 50. Again preview and check the animation. Now animation looks good. Let's rename this as position animator 1. Again go to animate and select skew. Let's change the skew value to 70. Preview and check the animation. Go to the range selector 1 and click the stopwatch icon next to offset to create a keyframe. Now move to the 26th frame and change the offset value to 100. Hit the spacebar to preview the animation. Now go to the advanced option and change the shape value from square to ramp up. Preview and check the animation. Now change the offset value to minus 100 in the beginning. Hit the spacebar to preview the animation. Let's rename it as Skew Animator 2. Select Skew Animator 2 and go to Edit, select Duplicate. Now expand the range selector 1 and change the skew value to minus 40. Select both the keyframes and move it right little bit. Let's preview and check the animation. Again select skew animator 3 and go to edit select duplicate. Now let's change the skew value to 15. Select both the keyframes and move it right little bit. Hit the spacebar to preview the animation. Again select skew animator 4. Go to edit, select duplicate. Change the skew value to minus 7. Again select both the keyframes and move it right little bit. Preview and check the animation. Now the text animation looks good. Let's animate the lines now. Draw a horizontal stroke line. Go to Pan Behind tool and change the anchor point to center. Rename this layer as line 1. Expand the layer and go to Add and select Trim Paths. Now go to Trims Path and change the end value to 40. 
and change the offset values. Now change the end value to 32. Click the stopwatch icon next to offset to create a keyframe. And move to the 28th frame and change the value like this. Let's animate the end value also. Change the end value to 0 here. Hit the spacebar to preview the animation. Select both the keyframes and right click the mouse button and go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease. Now go to graph editor and adjust the speed graph from faster to slow. Let's preview and check the animation. Bring the end keyframes little bit closer to increase the speed. Let's preview and check the animation. Now let's change the stroke color to yellow. Select the line 1 layer and go to edit, select duplicate. Move this layer to 4th frame. Let's change the stroke color to orange. Hit the spacebar to preview the animation. Select both the layers and go to edit, select duplicate. Move this both the layers to right. Hit the spacebar to preview the animation. Yes, now we are done with animation. Now the animation looks good. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Tata. Bye bye.